<laughs> okay, guys. You know I have to do a random video. This is what I do. Sorry. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little bit more serious. Um, that I've been hearing going around lately, and it affects me personally because I personally have a family member, a couple family members. Okay. So <clears throat> let me tell you guys what I'm talking about. So I hear a lot of people like as a joking term call people retarded. Now. Um, I never say it because I don't like it. I've never liked it. I don't think the word retarded is, um, good when used right correctly either. I, but, you know, if you're trying to explain something, the politically correct term for somebody who has a mental retardation, they are, um, retarded. Um, and I've been seeing on a lot of TV shows, it's a really harsh word to me. Like, that word has always been harsh. And I don't know, a lot of you don't know this about me, but I have a... Um, a mentally retarded brother. He has very severe, um, autism. And, um, he's older than me. He's 32. But, um, it's like I have a little brother. Because I have to look after him. I have to take care of him. Like, when my mom and dad aren't here, you know, I have to make sure he doesn't, you know, go outside without us. Like, if he just disappeared, I would die. Because he can't survive by himself. Um, you know... Oh, shit. Okay, see? This shit I be talking about. My bad. So. Alright. Okay. He can't survive by himself. And, um... We have to look out for him. We have to, like, when he goes to the store, we have to make sure that he, you know, we help him count out his money. He's getting a little bit better at it, but it's still to the point of we can't have him go by himself. Um, me saying this saying that I think it's really insensitive and really rude and disrespectful to all people who have a mental retardation. For somebody to jokingly say, oh, you're retarded, gibbity goo. Like, I think that's so rude. I've always thought it was rude. Um, I don't personally say it, and, you know, I don't say anything to people about it, because it's just like, there are commercials for it. There are commercials on YouTube for, I will actually link one under this video, um, about the, the R word. And I'm sorry if I offended anybody by saying this, but I'm really not trying to disrespect anyone. Um, I'm just trying to bring attention to the fact is... As a society, we find it okay to pick people's disabilities and make it into a joking word. Um, like the whole, oh, you're gay. Or people lost their minds about that. But when it's come to retarded, you know, it's not so much of a big stir. Everybody's kind of like okay with it. Well, I'm here to say that I'm not okay with that. It's not cool. There's nothing cute about being like, oh, you're retarded. That's not okay. I personally find it very disrespectful, um, especially to my brother. Um, and, you know, Mike, he he doesn't, he's not, you know, able to really comprehend things like that, um, which is good because I wouldn't want him to get his feelings hurt. Um, and I would kill somebody if they hurt his feelings or mess with him, you know, which is kind of how I feel about my brother. I'm very overprotective, and I'm okay with that. I'm almost like a big sister. Um, but just, I'm younger than him. So, I think that as people, we should learn to kind of cool it on the R word and, you know, cool it. And just, you know, it's just like to them, that is the N word. To people with disabilities, the R word is the N word. And it's very disrespectful. And it's very hurtful. And they have commercials saying that, you know, they don't like it. And I don't blame them. And I totally, 100% support that. So, uh, now that I got that out of the way, but I had to say that. Um, I gotta tell y'all what happened at the movies. So, I went to the movies the other day to see Ted, and y'all know y'all get, you know, you get in the movies, and then you just sneak over to another movie. So, I wanted to go see The Dark Knight, right? So, I was sitting in The Dark Knight, and I was looking at something on my phone. The movie had not started, I remind you. So... I kid you not, this is exactly what happened to me. Um, so I'm look, looking through my phone. I'm trying to find out what time the bank closes so I can get there before I, I got to take care of some business. So this old man is there with like his granddaughter, every daughter. I don't know his, I don't know his life. So I, I'm looking through my phone and they're still showing the credit, not, not the credits, the previews. And he's like, I kid you not, all this fucking attitude, turn it off. And I'm like, 
Anyway, though, so I keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all, he get up and literally comes stands right here and is like, turn it off. I'm like, who are you, bruh? Like, you don't know me. I can have a gun in my purse for all you know. Back the fuck up. And he's like, you need to turn off your disrupting the movie. I said, dude, I'm looking up something important. He's like, well, take it outside or I'm going to go get the manager. I said, motherfucker, let's go get that nigga together. So, <sighs> so, he obviously went back and sat his ass down somewhere. I was like, I cannot believe the shit people do at movies. Like, he really got up in my face like he was going to beat my ass or something. So I was like, what are you going to do, beat my butt? And he's like, of course not. You're disrupting people. I'm like, shut the fuck up. The movie hasn't even started. Old ass geezer. Fuck out of here. So anyway, I was like too through. I told my mom. She was like, I would have set it off in that movie theater. So he's so lucky. I was rather calm that day. And I really just wanted to enjoy my day and have a good time. So I didn't make a big... Because I could have acted hella ratchet and been like, nigga, if you want to do this, let's do it. Let's get it done. So, you know, started clapping my hands and the whole shit right out. I know. So I didn't do anything about it, but I just was like too through when he really was like, turn it and got in my face. Like, I'm like, bruh, you are not my dad. Like, who are you, bruh? Like, I don't even listen to my dad. So come on now. So anyway, though, people got a lot of nerves. And it's just like, I'm not trying to be funny, but after what just happened, the whole shooting situation, I would think people would be a little bit more cautious about who they walk up to. Like, you don't know people's situation. You don't know what they have on them. So, for you to just walk up to me was extremely bold, number one. And number two, <laughs> you got some nerve telling me what to do. Like, who are you? Did you did you pay for my movie entrance? Oh, no? Okay. That's what I thought. But anyway, um... Okay, sorry, I was checking the minutes. But I thought I'd share that. And just a little quick bit. This is kind of a quick um, video. Um, I will be making another YouTube for my products for Mia Loves Cosmetics. Um, I will be making another YouTube channel for that. I will not be doing that on here because I've done a lot of weight loss and plus I've been cussing and all that stuff. And I want to make that one a little bit more professional and just strictly for my cosmetics line. Now, um, the last thing I want to talk about. Yes, I wrote it down because, you know, I, I forget things. Um, and plus I'm making a PayPal account and they're still going through the process of, you know, making me, making sure it's a real bank account. And I'm like, okay, why would I have time for this? But anyway, um, and also last thing is I try to do videos when I can, but also we're in the process of moving. Um, my mom actually just got the floors redone again, got the house painted, all of that. And, um, we will be moving towards more the end of the year. Um, hopefully she really wants to move in like October. That's just be honest. Um, so we're getting all our stuff together. So when you don't see me on here, just know it's because we're getting our stuff together. And, um, but once again, thank you everybody for your support and for watching. And, um, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.